What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. Uh, we're on our way to Fort Worth. It's like six in the morning. My voice is still a little hoarse from screaming about that Bills game. Beat the brakes off them Rams. We got a job to do, we got a class to teach, and we're gonna play some golf. So I'm gonna bring you with me. Let's go. I tell you guys a lot about downtime and what to do in your downtime. Like, even though we're up here, it's like six in the morning, seven in the morning, I'm still here working, man. We're out here working, I'm editing photos, I'm editing videos. So when I get on the plane, I try to stay real productive. And if you're at your shop and there's no hair to cut, you gotta do the same thing. Whether it's videos, hosting, something positive to help grow your chair so that there's less downtime. All right, so we're flying American. No wing flight in the plane. All right, you guys, we're here. We're at Fort Worth, we're waiting for the golf clubs to get here. About to go golfing. And uh, you know what, the flight was cool, but they circled the airport like three times, took forever to get off the plane. But yo, if I leave Texas today without getting some barbecue, I'm gonna be pissed off. So I hope we get in some barbecue. And it sounds like the bags have just, the bags have just started. Hopefully it's mine. Hopefully mine's the first one. First one to come out. Ready? First one. It's not mine. <laughs> So, all right, we just walked outside Texas. It's actually way cooler out here than I expected. Um, where we left Fort Myers, Florida, it was like real hot, real muggy. And uh, to be honest, this is gonna be some great golf weather. So I'm kind of excited. I don't feel no wind or nothing yet. I'm sure it could be. But yeah, thank God the guy who's picking this up is actually a real Texan when he drives a truck because I was a little worried about how big these golf clubs are gonna fit in the back of the car. I see you got the stairs. Yeah, Hold up, let me throw the big shit back. <laughs> he just laughed. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're over here at the Texas Star Golf Course. This place looks beautiful. Um, it's a lot hillier than it is in Florida. We're about to hit the range and see what we got. We're going on like one hour of sleep, so don't laugh at me, but I'm gonna show you a couple swings. Dude, this place is sick. All right, um, I can't wait to get out here and give this a try. And I wanna test this microphone and see how good it actually is on a golf course, on a golf cart, because I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty dope. Dude, this place is beautiful. All right, I just hit one straight down the pipe. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's a little right, but whatever. Uh, you know, we're gonna make some hay with it. See that what? Uh, negative. I'm recording. Go straight. I think. I did. All right, take a boat. Oh, nice. It's sitting there on the green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, that shit helped. Beauty. <laughs> Beauty. Not how you drew it up, but it got there. All right, you guys, we're just getting up, just getting ready for this class. About to head over and teach the Clipper over comb class. Yesterday was so much fun. We went out to eat at this place. It was like Eddie V's or something. It was amazing. Food was great. And uh, the golf was just phenomenal. I had so much fun at this course. It was the Texas Star and playing from the back tees, man. It was a huge challenge. They had obstacles upon obstacles there. And I'm not going to share with you my score because it wasn't all that great. But actually, I felt like I played well and I had a lot of fun. So we're about to pack it up, man. Leave this hotel room behind. And uh, it's time for the next stage in this journey. Let's get it. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. We're over here at Fort Worth Barber Supply and I would like to invite all my subscribers and everybody who follows me, if you are in this area, Dallas, Fort Worth area, um, stop in and check them out. They got great prices, they're great people. They really are reinvesting in our industry. They got influencers coming here all the time so you can check for education, classes, all kind of that stuff. So let's check out some of the stuff they got over here. They carry a wide range of different products. 
Um, I took away a lot of the gammas already, but they do got my golden gun. But I got a few of the gamma stuff up there. But yeah, they got they got everything, every brand. And uh, you guys can feel free to stop down and, and check them out, you know? I would like to introduce you guys to a piece of revolutionary technology that's gonna just change the landscape of the game. Wall has updated their electric shaver. All right, it, it don't sound no different than the finale, I'll be real with you, but it is white, so. <laughs> no, it is a finale. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so it turns out they just kept doing more of the same. Uh, most, all of you guys already know this, and if you see Barbara Kathy all the way from Florida, uh, Southcraft, you know, came to us and said, hey, what are, you see what you guys are doing, I want to do a class, and a lot of you guys have been in these classes, and we're like, absolutely, you know, who we bring in, who you got, and so we got this, some guy named Eddie, and, uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. absolutely, let's get him here. So, <laughs> give a big text of welcome to Eddie. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, just, I just want to get rid of all that so we can actually begin the process. All right, there's a few different ways that I'll maintain consistency, but it comes down to anchoring. So, one of my favorite fingers that I actually cut off once, I'm not anchoring, but yeah, the pinky. I didn't ever think there was any need for this finger, but I use it all the time. So, I can actually use my pinky or my knuckle, and I find a place to hold it on the sky. And I wind up either touching the cone, that becomes an anchor point, or I wind up using my knuckles. So we're gonna do this flat top competition in a little bit too. And we're gonna talk about how we're gonna maintain consistency in a second, but before we do that, we can draw this clipper across the, the comb a couple different ways. We can move it up horizontally. This would be a good situation for maybe doing a taper. I'm just gonna hold it still, cut hair that sticks out. The cool thing about flat tops is you're gonna to have to do all kind of shit to make it work, all right? And that means there might be a growth pattern that's funny that you gotta pick up the hair completely different. That lifting, I, I, I wasn't clear about that. Really. Seven. And of course, what you win is 200 bucks cash money. Uh, Mark, I'm gonna let you uh, tap spin and it'll pop up. Oh, Francisco. <laughs> oh, Francisco. Number winner, number one. This is number one. All right, got the next one. Looks like Dennis. All right, number three, Jesus Soto. He's excited. All right. He's like, I'm right here. <laughs> uh, Kevin Rezzo. Oh, Austin Kent. Austin Kent. Austin Kent. Los. Los. It's like Brian Mancia. Hey, now, right. Let me draw the last name. contestant. Yeah, go. All right, we're gonna draw the last contestant. We're gonna have eight contestants. Let's do it. Ready? How do I do this? Just tap the center. Okay. So there is. They, they thought they were out, but somebody might be back in. Oh. Looks like that's gonna stay on Thomas Kubilla. <laughs> now, do you wanna well, quit? No, no, I'm just kidding. No, you got a medicate right there. All right, listen, all you guys want to participate, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Does anybody want to tap out? No. That's right, no weak links here, all right? All right, so you guys are going to be judged on whoever creates the best flat top. You can do it as short as you want, do whatever you want. I'm going to set my watch right now. What do you think we should give him? Let's give him 30 minutes. Yeah, go ahead and get yourself set up. All right, all right. grab a mannequin. <laughs> Preferably the one you were working on, maybe. I'm supposed to say good luck, contestants. <laughs> okay, so we have all our contestants. We have eight contestants. They're going to be charged with doing a flat top. And whoever gets the best flat top is going to win $200. Uh, this is at Fort Worth Barber Supply. And if you guys are in the area, you guys feel free to stop down here. They got a great supply of tools and equipment and education. So, may the best man win. 
Time starts now. When you start getting some flat top clients, they know other flat top clients. And pretty soon you become the guy. All right, and then they come, they come in there and they get a cut. And it don't take as long as a skin fade or a lot of these other cuts. It's, it's a little bit quicker. It's actually a good, it's a good skill to have. It's a good money maker. All right, so he's, he's going for the skin fade action. He's not scared. He's got 30 minutes. He's gonna get it flat and it's gonna be skin, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. You can even buy a clipper or something before you leave with that kind of money. You can buy a half of a Snap FX. <laughs> All right, so, so they're in the middle of, of doing a flat top competition right now. And some of them are coming to the conclusion that it has to be shorter. Some of them are trying to do them way too long. And it's not going to be possible without a blow dryer and, and the right product and stuff like that. This is a really tough challenge. Um, but some of them are starting to get a little, I, I see them getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So that's what we want to see. I've seen a lot of strategies deployed. I've seen them holding it with their fingers. I've seen them using scissors, using combs, putting product. A lot of strategy out here. All right, we, we got a minute and uh, 45 seconds left, and we're coming down to the wire. So some of them are, you know, some of them are looking like they're just about done. Some of them are still looking like they want to do some more work. But when, when the clock strikes nine, it's over. So we'll see, we'll see who's, uh, uh, who's left standing. All right, guys, three, two, one, we're done. Bring your mannequins up, y'all. Put them right here. <laughs> okay, so, uh, one thing, can we shoot this music for a second? Because I'll give you my time. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to chase this before. All right, but listen, so what, what were some of your biggest struggles that went on here? The minute, the hair. Yeah. Getting the hair to stand up, right? And I noticed that some of you opted to put a lot of product in maybe a little sooner than you should have. I'm not looking at nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> this one and this one, it's going to be hard to work with that hair once it's so full of that much product, you know? Another thing that I couldn't tell you before you got started was the only way to really get this mannequin to stand up is to cut it short. If you don't have a blow dryer, you're going to have to take this shorter towards the, towards the top. All right, so let's see here. So one of the things that I'm looking for too, in a flat top, generally speaking, this is always going to be round. You're never going to leave a whole bunch of hair uh, in the crown because when this person tries to style this up, he's going to try to spike this up. And if there's long hair sitting back here, then it's just, it's not gonna spike up the right way. And then another thing you'll see a lot of flat tops have issues with is the front will be left a little bit longer, which is fine. But if you wanna get that shorter, you have to over direct it out a little bit. And you'll notice that when I over direct that out, you're gonna find all kinds of different lengths in there. That happens a lot to a lot of different flat tops. So if I was working on this flat top and I got to this point where it's gotten, it's gotten a little round, right? The only thing I could really do is take the center as close as possible, and I could bring the sides as close as possible to really kind of square that up, to leave something there to turn into a, to a flat top. And then we come down to this one here, and if I lift it up, this is a pretty darn, darn good flat top right here, going all the way up to the front. So he was he was able to maintain the shape all the way, and again, his, his did something similar in the front, but these are mannequins, this is, this is tricky, 
So I know that, you know, it's not gonna lay exactly like a, a normal person's work. I would probably say that some of this in the very front probably had to come down a little bit. Another way that I deal with this sometimes is thinning shears. Like if I got a flat top and it's laying real nice like this one is, but it's just a little thick, just a little bit of thinning shears. I think that I have to, uh, I, I would have to probably pick, Mmm. Mmm. Mother do, all right? I, got, I, I gotta go with this one. I think, I think this is the best one. Who, who did this one? You did this one? All right, man. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to fix this from this point, it's gonna be so hard, but it probably can be done. So we'll see if the boost can cut through this uh, amount of product, it's just, it's a lot of product. But the first thing that I wanna do in a flat top is I wanna go against the grain. The grain on these was all coming backwards, so I'm gonna start at the crown and work my way forward. Some of you guys have growth patterns that go forward. I would be starting in the front and working my way backwards. Whatever it takes to get this to stand up. A couple of the moves, I, I, seen, I seen some moves over here. I seen some scissors flying. I seen a lot of product going on, but I am just trying to stay in this center and working my way through it. Turning into a bit of a gook, but I think it's cutting. It's making the cut noise. See my pinky? That's the move right there. It's not just a useless finger. <laughs> For a flat top, it really works. Like literally, I kind of create this little brace like this, and I could and I could stay with it, and I could maintain it. But if you notice what just happened with this flat top, now now I got a nice starting point right from the center, right. And once I take that center, so also right here, this one this one kind of got a little bit out of uh, out of whack here on the edges. Only thing I could really do is bring these edges in a little bit closer. But all we can really do is bring these sides in a little closer. And when I get when I get here, I'm just kind of going out. I'm not scooping in or doing any of that. I want this to be flat here. So typically when I begin my flat top, like if I was beginning it from the from the very start, this is where I would start. I would work my way around the sides like this. The very next move would be the clipper over comb. The clipper over comb, not quite exactly the same way we did it, but literally just holding the comb flat on the angle that I want it to be on. I like getting this nice and squared off before I even get into that middle. The back, we already know that's gonna be rounded, so I'm not worried about the back. Little by little, piecing it together. But I think we learned one one thing. We definitely learned was the product can be helpful, right? But we have to we have to take it with a grain of salt. We can't put too much product in it. It's just going to be too hard to manipulate. At the very end, you could probably put as much as you want. If, you, if you're pretty well convinced that you don't need to cut no more, you could put that in there. But this thing's starting to get a little flatter, right? It's just a case of getting down on an angle. See my pinky? See my knuckle? In action again. Right here, you do the same thing. I seen some funny handholds too. Not naming no names, but I seen I seen some some uh, you know funny handholds. These are the handholds you should really be, be mostly pencil grip, mostly uh, some some form of bracing it with the motorcycle grip, and then and then the top. It's just kind of this. These are a really good thing to practice, y'all. And the more you practice it, the better you're gonna get. Remember the cut you did before the, the flat top? It's gonna feel like the easiest thing you ever did, right? If you practice doing these, you're gonna be like, I can shape it into a square, I can shape it round, I can shape it however I wanna shape it, with a little bit of practice. I'm gonna show you guys the, the other uh, the other golden rule for the flat top here in a second. Even with all this stuff in here, I'm surprised that this is even cutting this, to be honest. Yeah, that's one that's one for the one for the boosted there. One of the big things I do in a in a flat top when I'm getting like when I'm getting towards the end, when I'm getting to a point where I feel like it's getting kind of flat, I like to kind of get on the eye line of it and kind of bring it up to where my eye line is. And I kind of tip it this way and that way. And as soon as I got it to my eye line, like I can see little imperfections. And then I can slide across and I can get it. Tip it down a little bit, tip it up a little bit, wherever you gotta tip it to, to try to find those areas that ain't perfect. The diagonal hold there, but notice I'm still anchored. Almost every move that I can anchor, I do anchor. On, on the scalp, one here, one with the comb, and then when my, my clipper comes to touch it, it's kind of like three points of contact. This thing's getting pretty dang flat. But you guys were sort of at a disadvantage. Some of you guys didn't know that, like, uh, wherever that really long one went, disappeared. <laughs> but that, it's gonna be so hard. I mean, with, with no blow dryer and with a mannequin, 
to try to put a flat top in at that length. It can be done, but it's gonna be so hard. You know, you need you need the right type of hair for that. And you know, some of the freehand strokes, I, I seen some of you guys doing the freehand strokes. You can you can use the pencil grip. It's actually considered like pencil grip uh, clipper position number four in the book. They kind of hold it like this, and then it can kind of be similar to this. But if I use clipper position number four, I can also use my back of my palm and slide it along the scalp. I don't even have to look at it because I know I'm not gonna move my hand. I can look over here and look at y'all. Instead of me trying to, you know, kind of hold it in there and like just kind of hope I don't make a mistake, like some of y'all are steady as a rock. I've seen that, but I ain't. And I don't really want to have problems with that, so I'd rather just kind of almost drag my hand. The rest of this doesn't matter right now, you know? I'm, I'm looking at this area right here. I'm getting it, you know, whipped in the shape. But yeah, all things considering, I can keep working on this, but you guys get the point. Those are the holds that I'm. Those are the holds that I'm after. If my flat top gets too round, there's only really two things I can do: bring the side shorter, bring the middle down, and try to keep some of this. So when you first approach them, you want to kind of. This is the area you want to tiptoe around. This, you know, you can you can take it down. This, you know, you can wipe it off. That's where you want to tiptoe around. And the more you practice it, the better you're going to get at it. I appreciate you guys all for joining the class, man. Uh, I hope that you guys got something out of this. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any more questions about flat tops, liver of a comb, or anything else there, um, feel free to ask them. And did, did we get something out of this class? Yes. Can we learn something that we're going we're gonna to take to the shop or to wherever we go next? Yeah. All right. Cool, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. You. <laughs> My guy, what are you gonna spend the money on? Uh, you probably. Yeah. 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 Gotta, 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 gotta get some tools. All right, you guys, we just wrapped it up here at Fort Worth. Um, we're gonna be heading home here in a little bit, but we're gonna go watch some football. Hope you guys like the video. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Miss Ready Barber, and I'm really grateful to Fort Worth Barber Supply for inviting me out here and doing this class. And you know, they really treated me well. So shout out to them. And if you guys need any products, information, education. Uh, hit these guys up, especially if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Peace.